We are live today from Bailey Soup Kitchen in Lavender Hill. Um, it, it, it's a very special place, this. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying, uh, you know, watching the, the vibe and, and all the chefs that are getting involved here as well. Uh, of course, Grand West Casino and Entertainment World Chefs That Care program. I've got Chef Vaynant with me. Uh, tell us about the program and how this came about and how incredible it is that all you chefs are so eager to be involved in something like this. How's it going? Good morning. Uh, yeah, no, we started the project 22 months ago. Uh, we try to do every, a feeding every month. So every month we go to a different location and we feed uh, people that are in need of food. Uh, it's quite uh, a very big passion on mm. our side. Um, it's a whole, the whole group of chefs uh, got together. And so every month different, uh, can't take the whole team with us. So yeah. we're breaking it up in teams and then we go to the different um, places. And we feed people. Um, we do it because we're very passionate about it. Uh, we're very inspired by our general manager, Mr. Nadu, mm. uh, from the Grand West side. Uh, and he, he was saying you guys actually sort of sort of fight over who's going to do it. You, yeah, know, no, you guys, <laughs> you guys really get into it. We, the, the guys are really passionate about it. The team really came on board. Every time we go, they jump in. They like fight for places to go, mm. and they do it most of the time in their off time. Yes. Um, it's not like you have to be rostered. You have to be at work to go and join and yeah. This go is for a this feeding. is a this is completely free time. You you guys completely. don't get paid for this. Yes. And uh, the guys, you can see, they're all having fun out there. Um, mm. we, this is actually the second time we're doing it in the rain now. Okay. So yeah, but when you you know when you give that bowl of food to someone, mm. and you can see the appreciation in their eyes. Absolutely. It just pushes you to keep on going and going and going. I was going to say, what what is the most fulfilling? Excuse the pun. Part of this, mm. and I, I guess you've just you've just pointed it out right there. It's it's that when you see their faces and they've just been given a nice warm bowl yeah. of, of food, and the food's good as well. Yeah, no, it's the appreciation that keeps driving us, you know, mm. and. Uh, one of the feelings we done, we were standing outside and it was also raining and the wind was behind us and it was, it was quite painful. But then you look at, we were feeding 800 people on that day. Oh, wow. So then you look at those faces and <laughs> it just keeps you going and going and going. Um, we've done, like I said, 22 feedings now. We've fed just over 10,000 10, people already. Wow, that's incredible. And uh, yeah, no, we enjoyed it. Eh? Absolutely. Tell us about the food. Uh, well, to make, uh, today we made like a pasta dish with some okay. savory mints and then some vegetables. So it's something quite substantial. Yes. And then for the kids, we treated them a bit as well and made them some jelly and custard. So just oh, something fantastic. small, yeah. That's incredible. Guys, I love the work you guys are doing. It's, it's so awesome. And thank you so much for being part of our 16 Days for Youth uh, initiative as well. Which no, is thank you for being part of us, with us today. Absolutely. So I find this incredible. We're at Bailey's Soup Kitchen today. And... You never know who you're going to meet. And, uh, you know, Mervyn's with us from Grand West Casino and Entertainment World. And Mervyn, just tell us a story about exactly what happened. Well, it's, it's, it's raining and it's pretty cold out here in Lavender Hill. And we were up standing outside Bailey's Soup Kitchen and feeding about quite a few hundred kids. And a lady comes to us and said, guys, I see that you're cold. Can I make you guys a cup of coffee? And that lady <laughs> is a very special lady. We met her a few minutes ago and she invited the entire team from Art FM and Grand West into her house and she gave us a cup of coffee. And that lady is Auntie Bula. Oh, that is so cool. That is so sweet. Auntie Bula, hi, how are you? I'm all in you. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> and, and we were so moved by, by this wonderful gesture and she's got a very simple home and her stove is not working. So from Grand West Casino, Auntie Bula, we are going to give you a brand new stove. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, there was there was something else as well. Um, my uh, program manager uh, said he saw you with a couple of kettles. Um, with do you have hot water in your house? No, I don't. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to fit a geezer for you. So today you will have hot water in your house from today onwards. And not only that, we're also going to give you 2,000 rands worth of groceries as well. Thank you very much. All right. Such a warm heart. And um, I think when, when somebody 
opens their home up to others like you have for for us um, I think it's important that you know we reciprocate and I hope that uh, this will make life a little bit easier for you thank you so much you're most welcome Ati Vila, it's been it's been absolutely fantastic being in Lavender Hill and meeting warm and inviting people like yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think Grand West, together with Health FM, we we can't thank you. We can't thank you enough for inviting us into your home. It's a pleasure. <laughs> it's a great pleasure, thank and I thank you. you very much. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Auntie Bula, for all your hospitality. It's much appreciated. There you go, Auntie Bula, um, a geezer, 2,000 rands with the groceries and a new stove, courtesy of uh, Grand West, a casino and entertainment world, and of course, uh, the Chefs at Care program. Thank you so much.